The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Acts chapter 5, verses 12 to 42. In this passage, it begins with uh, the what has happened to the apostles. They are now performing many signs and wonders among the people. Uh, a few people were scared to join them. Other people were being saved. The Lord was adding to their number. The power of God was so great. Uh, the people brought the sick into the streets uh, so that Peter's shadow might fall on them. And people came from all around uh, Jerusalem, bringing those who were ill uh, to be um, healed by at the hands of the apostles. The high priest and his associates were jealous. They arrested uh, Peter and the rest of the disciples, uh, apostles, and put them in jail. But God opened the doors during the night and brought them out. Nothing could stop God's word going forward. And so the next morning, they're there preaching in the temple. The high priest sends the soldiers to get them from jail. They find the doors locked, the, the soldiers standing at the, at the doors, but there's no one inside. And uh, the, they say, look, the men who you put in jail are out there preaching. And so they arrested them again and brought them in and made them stand before the council. And again, tried to get them to stop Um preaching in the name of Jesus. They were, they were going to do this by force when Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, stood up and said, look, if this thing is of God, it will succeed and let's not be fighting against it. If it's not of God, it will die out. And he gave examples. An interesting little example, as a side note, in Luke's Gospel, Luke talks about the birth of Jesus being at the time of the census. And lots of historians question whether the census took place. In this uh, passage, Luke again, as Gamaliel, the teacher of the law, refer to the sentence. He said, Judas Galilean appeared in the days of the census. Um, again, doesn't going to explain what census or anything about it. Just this was a clear historical event that people would read and understand. But going back to the main point, all the power bought against the early church failed to stop it even though people some people were afraid to join them others joined god did great wonders they tried to lock them up god set them free they tried they brought them before the council again god gave wisdom to gamaliel and whatever happened the word of god never stopped the devil may rage against the church and may attack it in many ways but god will always make sure that his word goes forward and is proclaimed by his church. Let's be bold today in proclaiming the message of the gospel. Amen.